CNN's Jomana Karadche reports that this is all hauntingly familiar to the Syrian people who know firsthand just how far Vladimir Putin is willing to go. And we want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are quite graphic. Russia's vicious war in Ukraine has shocked the world, but no one should be surprised. For years, Russia's ruthlessness played out so openly for all to see in Syria, where countless civilians paid the price for Putin propping up his ally Bashar al-Assad. Syria is where Russia boasted about testing more than 300 types of weapons. It's also where it tested the world's limits, and there seemed to be none. Its war has no rules, no one is spared, and no place is safe. Russia's bombed hospitals, markets and schools. The UN called them war crimes, but no one has faced justice. Russia denies it's committed these crimes, but its cruel attacks know no bounds. Even those rushing to rescue the injured have been targeted by its infamous double-tap strikes. I lost two, uh, two of my team, my colleagues, in one second. They, we were trying to respond to save others. Smail al-Abdullah of the White Helmets survived one of Russia's most brutal campaigns in Syria as it helped the Assad regime besiege, starve and bombard eastern Aleppo into submission. We are forced to leave the city. His beloved Aleppo was reduced to rubble. Aleppo was like doomsday. I saw bil buildings collapsed on their on the heads of their on the heads of the families, member of the families, children, by using the bunker buster bombs. This kind of weapon is used for the basement, military basement. That weapon was used on civilians to target the shelters for the civilians. In the little that's left of rebel-held Syria, the White Helmets are on alert. There's a fragile ceasefire here. They also want to help Ukraine. They know Russia's playbook all too well. They will bomb everything. And their, and their media will say that we targeted, we targeted a place for soldiers. We targeted Ukrainian armies. So many here feel the pain Ukrainians are going through, pain inflicted by the same aggressor who shattered too many Syrian lives. This is my daughter Lamar. English teacher Abdel Kafi Alhamdo with his baby girl by his side appealed to the world time and time again to save Aleppo in 2016. But the world looked the other way. I mean, I don't know why the world is not learning. I mean, not stopping Russia in Syria, this affecting, affected Ukraine, I, I mean, not, not stopping Putin in, in Ukraine will, will, will do the same in many other countries. It's been more than five years since Alhamdo was forced out of his home. Life is not the same, he says, but life does go on. Right now, he says, he just can't stop thinking of Ukraine. None can understand Ukrainians, none of the world, but Syrians. None can understand them more than Syrians. We will understand, we understand them more. And this is why I cannot nowadays, I cannot teach well, I cannot do anything because I'm just following what's going on in Ukraine. In fact, what's affecting me a lot that all the world is, is repeating the same mistake. The mistake of letting Putin get away with it all. The impunity in Syria that may have emboldened him to invade Ukraine. Many here feel their fate is now tied to Ukraine. If Putin is not stopped, they fear Russia will unleash hell here again to help Assad reclaim what's left of this devastated land. Jumana Karache, CNN, Istanbul.